Hello everyone, welcome to this fresh session on switching theory and logic design. Myself, Dr. Sohel Rana, and we are discussing chapter 4, Boolean Algebra, part 2. This is our 20th session. In previous session, we have discussed about the introduction and we have discussed that logic circuits are also called as switching circuits, gate circuits, digital circuits. Then we have seen the difference between the switching algebra or Boolean algebra and normal algebra. We have discussed the basic gates, what are required. Then, then we have discussed the axioms, that is postulates for three basic gates. And then we started discussion of laws in that we have first seen complementation laws related to invert operation then we have seen the and laws which are related to <laughs> and gate now in this session we will see the next laws so in series first one today is very sick in sequence third that is <laughs> or laws so there are four laws first one is say law one it says a plus zero is equal to a. This is called as null law. <laughs> then law two. Law two states that a plus one is always equal to one. This is the identity. identity law that means if a is 0 or 1 doesn't matter if we have plus 1 answer will be 1 if this is 0 a may be 0 if a is 0 answer will be a only that is 0 if a is 1 1 plus 0 answer will be 1 that is nothing but a only third law a plus a is a if a and a are 0, answer will be 0. If a and a are 1, answer will be 1. So this is third law. Fourth law is a plus a bar equal to 0. Now, if you take example, a is 0, then a bar is 1. So 0 plus a bar the answer will be sorry answer will be equal to 1 so this will be equal to 1 if a is 0 and a bar will become if a is 1 a bar is will become 0 the again answer will be 1 so these are laws related to or next we will see commutative laws next type is Commutative laws. Commutative laws allow the change in position of AND and OR gate. There are two commutative laws. The first one, first law, law 1 states that A plus B is equal to B plus A. That means if, if in addition, the position of 0 and 1 can be changed. So A or B, addition means what? Say we have A or B operation. So it will be similar to B or A operation. That is the simple meaning, right? This means it doesn't make any difference which input of an OR gate is connected to A and which to B. So in diagram form we will see, so suppose this is the OR gate, this is OR gate, this input is A, this input is B, answer is A plus B or we can connect it in this way, B position from here we can keep here. A position from here we can keep here 
and the answer will be b plus a so this a plus b and b plus a will be same so if we want to write it in the form of truth table so a b a plus b 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 a plus b 0 0 0 0 plus 1 1 1 plus 0 1 1 1 1 this will also give the same answer the input r 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so b plus a will not, doesn't make any difference same answer will get 0 1 1 1 so this is commutative law this is commutative law for or gate or addition similarly we have now this law we can extend also like for three inputs how we can extend commutative law for three inputs so we can say a plus b plus c will be equal to b plus c plus a or we can say c plus a plus b or any other combination and so it will be same then there is second law say law 2 related to product that is for given for and get say it is a dot b is equal to b dot a so this one is possible to transfer so in diagram wise if we want to say it will be this is a b and output will be a b this will be equal to this is b this is a output is b a these are same in truth table form also if we want to write it will have the same truth, truth table 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 this is for this diagram now for this diagram say we have a b then b dot a here we have 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 so this output this output is same so this is the commutative law next we have associative law next type is <coughs> associative law associative laws allow the grouping of variable we will see what is grouping of variable here also there are two laws <coughs> first law is as related to addition so that we will write down here The first law, law 1, is A plus B plus C can be written as A plus B plus C. Right. So, what is the meaning of this? If we write it in the form of plus means or gate so that means a or b again odd with c okay so it will be same as what a this will be odd with B or C. So these are nothing but same operation. 
for this for that let us see the diagram and we will see uh, how they are same so let us make two parts here in one side we will see uh, one lhs another side we will see rhs we will draw one partition here let us make it a thick line okay now this side left side we will write for lhs side the lhs side what is the expression a plus b this is faint we will change to color so this side we have a plus b plus c okay and this side we have a plus b plus c let us see if both of them are same so first if you want to draw this a plus b so first we will take or get here we have a b its output is a plus b now this input should be or with third input c so here we will give input as c so its output will be at the output of this we have a plus b plus c similarly we will draw diagram this side say what we have to do a we have to do or with b plus c so first let us take uh, b plus c we'll take one or get this is or get here we have inputs b c and this b c we have to or with the third input that is a so at the output we will have a plus b plus c fine so let us see the truth table if we get the truth table same or not <laughs> so let us write the possible inputs say a b c and spawn stage we are getting a plus b and finally we will see what we get a plus b plus c so here we have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so if we give 0 0 here we give 0 0 and here also 0 0 0 here output will be 0 this 0 plus this 0 here also we'll get 0 a plus b is 0 and a plus b plus c is also 0 next we'll give 0 0 on a and b it will give 0 one input is 0 c will give 1 0 1 output will be here we'll get a plus b as 0 but output will be 1 next we'll give 0 1 here 0 there 1 a plus b will be 1 this 1 and c is 0 1 is 0 1 is 1 so output will be 1 similarly if we apply for all of them we will get this all once and here also we will get all once now similarly we will see <coughs> what output we get for the rhs circuit so that we can show whether they are equal or not where we'll have a again we have input b input c then intermediate stage b plus c and finally a plus b plus c their combination 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 
1 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 so here we will get 0 first stage will get 0 this is 0 and here we have a a 0 answer will be 0 now again we are giving these two as 0 here it will be 0 but this time c is 1 here we will get b plus c 0 but a is 1 so this 0 1 will make it 1 now next <coughs> next we will get we will give 0 1 we will give 0 1 output will be 1 here will be 1 c is 0 output will be 1 then again we will give uh, 0 1 1 we have to give so if we give 0 1 air output will be 1 and a is also 1 1 1 will be equal to 1 next 1 0 0 so 1 0 0 here we are giving 1 here we are giving or here we are getting 0 1 0 1 is nothing but 1 so here the 1 0 1 0 output will be 1 and so on we will get all 1's so this output is same as this output so we can say both of them are equal so this is for the first law first law for addition or or get now similarly we can see the second law say law 2 commutative law 2 say commutative law 2 this law states now this law is for the multiplication or get so this law is given as a dot b into c is equal to a b dot c logically we can see it doesn't make any change so let us see its meaning in the form of so how we can write this one say this one we can write a and b and it with c and what is meaning of this one a and it with b and c now this is these are two we are saying so let us see the proof similar way we can draw a partition between uh, two parts lhs and rhs we have to compare so let us compare it between one side we will draw the structure for LHS, another side we will draw the structure for RHS. Say we will write. So for first one, this side we will write for say A dot B C. Here we will draw for A B dot C. So for this we have two inputs, multiplication means AND gate. So these are two inputs, this is AND gate, this is A, B, their output will be A, B. This A, B we have to again AND with C. So here we will have C. This is the final output. Similarly, we can have, say we will make AND gate with B and C. This is B, C. Here at output we will get B, C. This is ANDED with A and this is the output. Now two tables we can cross check we will get same. Say A, B, C intermediate stage A, B then A, B, C. Similarly where we can write down A, B, C intermediate stage B, C then A into B, C. 
So here inputs are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Similarly, here we will check for same inputs. Let us check few samples. If we give 0, 0, here 0, here 0, output will be 0. And here 0, here 0, output will be 0. Then we will give again this 0, this 0, output 0. This is 1, 1, 0. Again, 0. Like this, it will carry on until all of them are 1. So if this is 1, this is 1, this will be 1. This is 1, this is 1, so this one will be 1. Same we can cross check for this one. And we can find out that this final output is 1 for the last one. So this is commutative second law. So with this we will stop our session here. Next class we will see few more uh, laws related to Boolean algebra. Till then, have a good day. Thank you.